Welcome to another Unreal is Easy uh, tutorial. Um, today we're going to go over creating a simple pickup or collect collectible in um, Unreal. So you see here I have a demo project and I've got kind of based on our first tutorial about a character controller so we can control this character and if we bump into these orange cubes we collect them. Uh, and you can see if you look on the right hand side there at the um, details panel, um, I've got the player controller selected and I have a points um, variable that's been um, uh, revealed and it shows that it has 65 points. So each one of these um, little cubes are five points. So uh, let's get into making it. All right. So we're going to go back into our game tutorial. We'll open up our Oh, yeah, let's save everything. Okay, so this is the map that we had for our character control. So just our simple character controller. I might change our camera view because mine's messed up. But so you just do snap to view. Okay, so once we have this, we're going to need a new blueprint. So right click in your content area here and go to blueprint class. All right, and then you're going to select an actor. You can call this PP um, collect or something. You know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, power up. Um, all right, click and open it, and now we have our kind of default blueprint actor here. Uh, we're going to add a component, and we're going to add a cube. So just a cube. Uh, yeah, cube fish. That should be fine. All right. And then um, for this, what I would like to do is add another component and type in collision and get a box collision. And then I want you to drag this box collision onto the default scene route and make it a new route. Okay, so now we have our collision box and our mesh. Uh, this way you can customize it. And also, you can uh, make the area of collection bigger. So right now, you can't even see where it's collected. Um, so you have to go over to the details panel with the collision box selected, and you have this box extents. You can expand these. You can see it starts to stick out of the wall. So if you type like uh, 60, 60, and 60, it will give you kind of a shape around the thing. But you might want this to be bigger so like the as the character gets closer it just automatically collects. Alright, so just save that. Um, and then if we go down to collision here, we're gonna just click here for collision um, and then overlap all dynamic. That should work. Okay. Alright, then in our event graph we are going to, um, we can delete this one, and we can delete this one. And we're just going to use this, I'm going to delete this too, just because I, um, I just hate the, uh, the comments. Okay, so then begin overlap. And then um, you're going to have an uh, actor here, so when something collides with this collectible, it will have an actor attached to it. And we want to cast to our player character, which in our game is BP player. Okay? So cast BP player. And now we have this, and we can say destroy actor. And it's not going to destroy the player, it's just going to destroy itself. Okay, so this is like the super basic pickup. Now this doesn't have any actual gameplay functionality and we'll get into that in a second. So so now we're here and we have our collectible cube we can stick it in the scene 
and you can see it disappears when we collide with it. All right, so a couple things. Let's go into our viewport. Let's like half the size of our cube here. All right. And uh, let's give it a color. So if you follow the uh, color tutorial, you might have some colors. If not, you can find something from the um, standard assets or something like that. OK, so I just colored mine green. All right, so now it's the color of the wall, unfortunately, actually. Um, let's make it orange. All right. And now we have it in the scene. And we can collect it. OK. So let's make this a little bit more interesting. Um, so in here, um, we are interacting with the player already. So if we go back to our player controller, we can add a new custom event. And we're going to call it add points. OK. And over on our variables for our player panel, or our player character, we're going to add points. Uh, right now it's a boolean on mine, so I go up to variable type. I change this to an integer. Now we're going to pull this in. We're going to set the points. All right, and we're going to get the points. Now pull off of this and uh, search for the plus sign, and you'll get this um, add integer. I'm going to switch these because I don't like having the top one be the value for this. All right. Um, and we could just add however many points we want, like this, and add it here. And then our points will increment. All right. But uh, we could do one more thing here to make our uh, collectibles a little bit more interesting. If you click on your custom event and then go over to the details panel, it says inputs, click this plus sign, and we can actually add a, a parameter for, um, for this custom event. So I'm going to do a point value parameter, make it an integer, and I'm going to plug it into our addition here. So now we're going to pass points into this event and it's going to add it uh, to our point total. So we could, as we go through our level, add um, all different types of points. So uh, for each different type of collectible. OK, so how do we do that? All right, we're back at our collectible event graph. And where we have the cast, we have this node here, which gives us access to the player that um, collided with us. If we go here, we can say add points. And you'll see we have access to this event. So let's just slide the destroy actor over. Definitely do this before you destroy the actor because it might not fire. So um, it probably won't fire. All right, and now we can add a point value here. Or we can promote this to a variable. And now you have a custom way if you allow it to be editable. Compile it so you can see the value. And you can say, I want this one to be 10 points. All right. And then compile, save again. And now we have a pickup in the map that is worth 10 points now. And let's see. Can we add another one? All right. So now, if we, I'll play in the viewport here. If we press play, we have our game started. I'm going to select the player um, here that's in the game, and now you can see the points. When you click on the screen, you can move your character around, and when you collected, your points went up by 10. All right, and that was 20. And now you could, um, because we have this set uh, as point value inside um, our editor, we can actually say, OK, this one here. I'm going to give this one 25 point value. And uh, how am I going to know it's 25? I guess I'll, I'll just make this like a bigger one. All right. So you could do this in the blueprint as well. Or you can have new blueprints or um, make a base class and then have child classes that are worth different points. But now, oops, 
All right, let's select our player again. We have our points here. Click on the screen. All right, so I just went up by 10 points, and then I'm going to go over to my other guy, and I get 35 points. All right, so that hopefully will get you started on um, creating collectible pickups in your game and the beginnings of a point system.